Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. So today I'm going to answer a question I get asked a lot. Ellie, where do you get your extra bricks from for your custom builds or for just doing all the random stuff you do with Lego? And look, here's some extra bricks. They just pile up. Why can I not get them to cover me? <laughs> anyway, so today we're going to talk about where I, well, where do I get my extra bricks from? Like, just like I said at the beginning of the video, like a whole 20 seconds ago. So I'm being consistent at least. So, all right, here we go. I've got a few different ways. Number one, I break down old sets. I have been building Lego for a few years now. I have quite a few sets and a lot of them I just don't have room to store anymore. Obviously, if they don't bring me joy to look at them anymore, it is time to break them down and then part them out and then put all those parts into my collection of loose bricks ready to put them into a custom build. That's number one. Number two. Ah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I steal bits from sets that I have on display. So eventually my sets start to look a bit like this here where there are gaping holes where I've just pinched a brick here and a brick here, maybe a couple of bricks here. The grapes from up here went into Andrea's extension renovation build and I don't even remember what was over here. So oh yeah and just like one random rounded bit off there I don't even remember where I put that. So I just peel for bits of existing sets. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah. And then when they look too randomly hollow, I break them down and add them to my loose bricks collection. Yay! Okay, so number three, check out Facebook Marketplace for bulk secondhand Lego. If you get lucky and quick enough, often you can get real bargains of people just trying to clear their houses out and get rid of unwanted stuff. Their trash is your treasure. Yay! Make sure you check for things like, uh, I mean, for me, Lego Friends is a given. Girl Lego, even though it's stereotypical, often people put it under Girl Lego misspell Lego, put an S on the end, try all of the things and you might come up with some really interesting bargain bulk bricks for your next custom build. <laughs> okay, so no Legos for me today, obviously. Sadness. So next up, if I'm looking for specific pieces to complete the aesthetics of a build where I'm trying to match the design, like these curved windows in Andrea's house when I wanted to extend it, I needed more of these and I know I don't have any in any other sets apart from the park because they're new. I also needed some more stickers to match the existing stickers. So another sticker sheet set. So looking for curved windows and a sticker sheet set, I head off to Bricklink. Now, number four, Bricklink. This website is very confronting for new users, even for existing users, but it is a really great place to find bricks for your specific needs. So this is how I generally, generally hang out here. I go to market, I go to parts, and then you have all of these subcategories, subheadings that the parts are broken down into. <laughs> Sometimes you have no idea, in fact a lot of the time I have no idea what area parts belong in. But I know that this curved window is going to be a window, right? I hope so anyway. Maybe it's a fence, I don't know. So let's scroll down here and see whether we can see it on this list here. Actually no, let's go to, let's sort it by year summary because I know that this part came out in 2021. So like I said, lots of ways we can search here. So this is the easiest way to find this window, look at that! And this is lots of information. Up here, you can actually see the item appears in two sets. Like I said before, I already know that it only comes in Andrea's family's house. There are 12 of them in there and four in Hart Lake City Park. And I need a whole heap of them, or I needed a whole heap of them to complete Andrea's house. So here we go, scrolling down, known colors, that's fine. You can only get it in white. Let's go over and have a look at what lots are for sale. So let's see who has got these for sale and whether I can afford them. So first up, I need to put some of my options in here. First up, I want to just click my seller location being in Australia. If I can, I will want to buy from the country that I live in because shipping will be cheaper. So let's search what's available here in Australia. Got a few here for ranging from 43 cents going down to 50 cents, there's a good amount, and there are some sellers here that I've bought from before, so I know that I can, yeah, I can trust them. But let's have a look at this one that's the cheapest one currently, 
and I haven't bought from this particular person before but their their feedback is very good I always go up and I have a little look at the feedback and then I can go in and choose say 10 of these of course I could just type this into the box but no I have to go click 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 10 times add it to cart so it's as simple as that but <laughs> now you're gonna have to Pay postage for your $4.30 worth of stuff. So check out the splash page, see what the seller is offering. Also see the terms so that you know what sort of extra postage costs you're gonna be hit. Uh, this particular seller has a fee of $1.50 for the packing materials, which is fine and fair. It costs money to buy the envelopes or the boxes and the packaging stuff. And then you can have a look at what their actual postage expectations are. Then, then the fun part is going over here and going, oh, what else do I need? Oh, oh, maybe, maybe I can find my stickers here as well. That would be handy. But no, they've only got this particular person only has three sheets in here of stickers and none of them are what I need. Always go down and have a look at the minifigs and see whether there are any cheap friends parts or Disney princess parts that I can customize later. And no, so maybe buying the windows from this particular seller isn't going to be a good choice for me because they don't have a lot of other stuff that I want to buy. So I might have to buy it slightly more expensive. So these are the way offs you have to do. Okay, another way I like to search, if I know this part is in a particular set, I can actually search up the set. Make sure if you do something like Andrea's house, you put the apostrophe in, otherwise it's not going to turn up. I can, I mean, there's not much here to choose from, but if I know it's a set, I could click the little sub criteria here, set, and go to Andrea's family house. Now, fantastic people come in and they inventory all the parts out, so you can have a look at everything that is in this set. So if you don't know what subcategory this thing or if this is called a plate or if this is a modified plate or all of those mind-blowing subcategories, if you know what set it comes in, you can have a look, find it here and click through this way. So this is an easy way to very quickly find what you are looking for if you already know that it's in an existing set. So <laughs> I often do it this way because I get very confused by all of those subcategories. So if we scroll down and we're here in the white stuff, here we go. This is how you would find the window, another way to find the window. Windows, you know, bit pretty easy, but why do I always click that? We have to click that bit to actually go into it. And this is the page we were on before so we can find who's selling it. There we go. There are so many ways to search here. It just depends on what you're most comfortable with. These are my ways that I'm, I'm most comfortable with trying to find stuff. All right, so say I was going for this sticker set, which is nice and easy to find here because I didn't have to look it up. Though I could look this one also up by set number. Let's see if I can buy this from, uh, okay. I think I can see putting after my search options in, I can see, yeah, I think that Jace's Bricks also had the windows, if I remember correctly, from when I searched before. So that might be the best person for me to buy these two particular things from. And then, of course, it's so much fun to look through all of the rest of the stuff that that shop is offering and what else I, I want but I didn't really need to buy, but I'm going to put it in my cart anyway, just so that I can make the postage cost count. Okay, so that's just a very quick little intro on how you can use BrickLink. Now, if you're looking for a newer part, Lego Shop might actually have a better option for you. If you go up to the little support drop down menu up here, you can go to replacement parts and under here is a strangely hidden spot called bricks and pieces. So number five is bricks and pieces. A good place, I just clicked that again, a good place to go if you want a particular part from a new set. It's gotta be a new set, otherwise they're gonna sell out those coveted rarer, more searched after parts, they're going to sell out really, really quickly. So say I'm looking for uh, Lego Friends Mia's Pug. I need to find the actual, the Lego number for this, which is 41664. Just Googling it, so easy to find it. So now I can go and put that in here. And if I got a color in my pug box that I did not want, or I wanted to collect all the colors, here's the place. I can pay $2.07 or $2.40 for the others. Why is the turquoise one cheaper? Anyway, I want the yellow ones. Yellow one for me. So I could go through now, uh, hypothetically, and I could add all of the yellow animals from the most recent cubes to my cart. 
which I'm going to do. But I want to check Bricklink first and see whether the price of this is cheaper at Bricklink, which often with the new pieces, it's not. So no, the cheapest price I can get here is $3.38 and there aren't even any available here in Australia. So in this particular circumstance, Bricks and Pieces is my friend. So let's go back to Bricks and Pieces and add all of those yellow animals into my bag because I can actually now I feel as though I should add all of the animals that I didn't get in the cube that I know that's a really slippery slope and I really shouldn't do that just the yellow ones it's the yellow ones so when I actually go to check out it's $15 here for me to 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 do it this way uh, that's, that's quite an expensive delivery so if I was buying something else from the Lego shop this would be a really fun add-on as well okay so these are some of the ways that I get my extra Lego for my builds. There are other ways, of course. I haven't even investigated Brick Owl yet, though I hear it's good. Uh, your garage sales, let me know in the comments if there's any other major ways that I have missed. And I'm certainly going to check them out. <laughs> More bricks must have all the bricks. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to find small things to put in my bricks and pieces cards because now I want all the yellow animals. Okay, I have to go now. I need some help. Okay, <laughs> see ya. Bye.